everybody. I have been accused of preaching my beliefs to convert people. And I believe that if I'm going to be accused of something, if I can, I'm going to enjoy it. So, here is my church. Welcome to the House of Blue. I wanted to continue on talking about how the Bible cannot be used as a historical document. Now, one of the more important things is just that there are over 40 versions of the Bible in English alone. There are so many other versions. I mean, we have Greek Orthodox. There are German variants. There is really no established version of the Bible that says that this is the one you're supposed to use. Now, a lot of the Protestant Christians in the United States love to use the King James Version of the Bible. But they need to understand something that they can't use that because the King James Version of the Bible was rewritten by, well, by a demand of King James, which is kind of interesting because King James was a homosexual. And, you know, we have so many Christians out there that are opposed to homosexuality, but they're using a Bible that was rewritten by a gay man. Now, I want it to be known that the anti-gay verses were not added to the King James Version of the Bible until 1946, when they tried to rewrite the Bible in modern English. Okay, did you get that? So, all of this anti-gay stuff started after World War II. Okay? That's how bad the Christians are. So, the problem here is that the Christians don't even police their own versions of the Bible. I could probably uh, take some time, create a version of the Bible, make sure that Jebus is in there, slap the name Holy Bible, um, we'll call it the blue version, and it will be accepted because the Christians will allow anybody to make a half-hearted attempt to rewrite the Bible and they just don't complain about it. Um, I think the only time that there's really been a complaint is when you are comparing the um, Catholic Bible with the King James Version of the Bible, but you can use any variant of the King James Version of the Bible and they don't seem to give a damn. Now, we got to talk about how the Christians use the Bible, because that is the core reason why it cannot be used as a historical document. You see, the Christians, when they view other religions, holy texts, such as the Quran, they are brutal. They will take it word for word, twist it to the most negative, hateful version, and they will not deviate from it. So, this is why Christians love to tear apart the Quran, which is kind of funny, considering that the Quran is a, is the, so let me rephrase that. It is funny because the Bible is the basis of the Quran. Um, back in the Yahoo um, religion chat rooms, it was discussed at great length how Muhammad was an educated man he had read the bible and he used that inf that basis for the quran okay um and the christians will go and say well this verse says this so this means that the muslims are mean to women but then they ignore their own verses we have Christians that will call anything we write down satanic. 
because they are unwilling to look um, in any positive manner towards anything that a non-Christian uh, views as some type of religious text. But then we go to how the Christians view their own Bible and how they use it. You see, Christians love to use parables. They would like to use other Bible verses from anywhere in the Bible. And then there are times where they're saying it's the literal word of God. And so you cannot use this as a historical document because how in the heck are you supposed to know that, well, this one, um, well, let's go Matthew 4, 7, um, is literal, if it is a parable, or if there's some verse, let's go with um, Jeremiah three seventeen, and say, well, that just counters it completely, so it means something completely different. When you grab a history book, you should be able to open it up to any page, read it, and know for good certainty that that event happened. Unless, of course, you're getting a Christian rewrited, um, revisioned um, history book, and they are trying to rewrite history. Kid me not. They are trying to make the United States, a Christian nation, by trying to rewrite the history. Um, so we have to be very vigilant on their little um, steps. They play long games. They are not doing the short game against us. Um, by their definition of how they view the Bible, because it can mean anything, anywhere, you just got to twist here, twist there, and you can change the whole meaning. I could then go by their process and say that Marie Antoinette was a good-hearted woman. That she cared for the French citizens. Um, historically. Um, she went and said, let them eat cake. And, because she was a spoiled rich broad. And she was taken to the guillotine and executed. And that was one of the beginning steps of the French Revolution. But if we take it and handle it like the Christians do, we could say that Marie Antoinette was said, let them eat cake because she's seen how some people were starving and they shouldn't be starving. She thought that they were equals to her and so they should eat cake just like she does. And she was trying to enforce this, and government officials executed her. Okay? It's not a historical fact, but that is how the Christians operate. And I have been in the Yahoo religion chat rooms. Uh, I was in there for, I think, about five or six years. I have debated and interacted with a lot of Christians. And so they would like to say that this Bible verse means this and that Bible verse means that. And when you try to counter them with a Bible verse, and you can recite it word for word, they are going to tell you, no, it does not mean that. Somehow the Christians say, that the only way you know if a Bible verse is a parable, literal, or altered by another Bible verse is if you have the Holy Spirit go through you. Okay, the Holy Spirit translator of the Bible does not work. Okay, if there is, if the Bible verse means something else, then why didn't they write something else? Well, because it doesn't fit their needs. Um, because one of the things that always pissed me off when I was debating Christians was that they would use the Old Testament. Um, the Old Testament is valid and unvalid at the same time. Because they could say that, well, 
homosexuality is wrong, look at Leviticus. It says that right there. And so my response was, well, did you have sausage for breakfast this morning? And they're going to say, yes, they did. And I says, well, the Bible says that you should not touch the pig. It is, it is unclean. But, but the Old Testament does not, is not valid. And so I just, but you just use Leviticus to, dis, to say that homosexuality is an abomination. And so, well, the Holy Spirit says this, okay? There is no consistency throughout the Bible because they're going to twist it to whatever fits their need. And so you cannot use the Bible as a historic document. So everybody, hope you enjoyed the little ramble that I did. Um, everybody take care. Be at peace.